at the cost of 2 billion naira under the Presidential Needs Assessment Program. It is expected to be ready for use before the end of 2016. Campus here, we have a student population of about 15, 16,000. We have only 2,250 bed spaces, meaning that we can, we have very, very small, about one over 10, uh, about 10% of a student that can stay on campus. The university has also signed a memorandum of understanding with an international firm to provide additional 5,000 bed spaces. We have a, uh, a program designed for the whole of West Africa that specializes in uh, climate change. We call it WASCA. The, it's funded by German government. Um, I must say that we have actually moved tremendously in terms of infrastructure, not just building. We are talking of what we have inside our buildings. Uh, FUT Mina has made impact and is still making impact and will continue to make impact. Professor Musbao Adewumi Akonji also evolved strategies to fast track issuance of certificates and transcripts for job placement and postgraduate training. Uh, we first of all cleared the eight years of certificate. As of now, uh, from last year, we now get our certificate on the day of convocation. We engaged the latest technology with the, be the second best security printing house in Europe is now printing our certificate. The university is, however, still grappling with the challenges of public power supply and provision of portable water. To address water problem at the permanent site, Professor Akonji is providing a borehole each for every building in addition to the proposed construction of an earth dam at the cost of 500 million naira. You live here to go and fetch water in Chachaga and come here in 45 minutes. With thousands of students resident here, before you, before you drop one, they have finished it. Instilling discipline in students of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, is also being accorded priority. Any misstep is automatic expulsion after due process, of course. So, and when you are expelled, we circulate your name among other universities. The university has also recorded a number of academic achievements, including the design and fabrication of highly valuable items of socio-economic importance, such as solar air heater, motor car crankshaft, gerund system for crane, and rice destoning machine. Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology is one of the 11 projects in various strategic areas of science and technology funded by the World Bank through the Step B project. The project aimed at creating world-class research centers in the country is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and well-trained staff. The equipment of the center is for the use of research community in Nigeria and West African sub-region, geared towards scaling up research to a new frontier. In recognition of excellence in areas of science and technology, the university has been attracting eminent scholars and most of its academic programs have received full accreditation. The university also offers postgraduate programs with a view to developing graduate students in the spirit of inquiry through training in research in an atmosphere of intellectual independence and individual creativity, combined with a strong sense of group cooperation and collaboration among others. The health services of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, started on the 1st of June 1984, with the staff in a room shared with other units of the university. Today, it has grown into a full-fledged division comprising six units. The university staff school, which was established in 1987, now boasts of a secondary section. The Federal University of Technology, established for the purpose of focusing on the development of technology in the country, has witnessed steady growth as attested to by some academic staff. This university has been extremely lucky with the type of administrators we have been having. Right from Professor Ndagi, who blossomed 
academics from ABU. Many of them some became deputy VC here, many were professors here. FUT started very well. We were centers of computer in Nigeria. We drew, you know, in fact, we have been driving computer application in Nigerian education. So by the time a student graduates from the Federal University of Technology, you know, we want to believe that that student will be able to contribute either nationally or internationally. We are training for a petroleum technology development fund skill in skill areas. We establish a center and from the basic we have moved to an advance in collaboration with Nigerian Institute of Welding. In part, as of today, we are training what a Turkish government is training, and that is what we are now training for Nigeria. Uh, lecturers, not just lecturers, workers, all workers in the university system should know that it will take the sacrifices, hard work of individuals for the system to be uplifted to where it is um, supposed to be. We also took up some students on their impression of the university. FET is one school that I've always liked. I've always loved it because of their educational standard. Well, coming to this school has been a good chance for me to learn a lot of things, a lot of programming, a lot of things I never learned when I was at home. Academically, actually, FUT Mina is really trying. The late Dr. Beatrice Sawa was appointed the pioneer registrar, Federal University of Technology Mina, in 1983 and served till 1986. The late Umar Sadiq acted in that capacity from 1986 to 1988. Mrs. Larry Hamid was the second substantive registrar of the institution from 1988 to 1983. Late Umar Sadiq again acted in that capacity from 1993 to 1998 before he was confirmed as the third substantive registrar between 1999 and in 2003. Mohammed Datijo served as the registrar in an acting capacity from 2003 to 2007 before his confirmation as the fourth registrar between 2007 and 2012. Mrs. Victoria Kolo, the current and fifth substantive registrar, was appointed in the year 2012. The Federal University of Technology MENA has grown into a giant among institutions of higher learning in Nigeria and beyond but a lot more can be achieved with the support of all and sundry <laughs>